What's up everybody and welcome to Game Audio Theory. Today we are looking at a distance based reverb using the first title from Supergiant Games. Everything. Gone. Just like that. From the wharf to the wilds. You gotta hand it to the calamity. It did the job quick. But it missed a few spots, didn't it? Here on Game Audio Theory, we look at game audio mechanics, theorize on where they could be put together, and then try and replicate them using Unreal Engine 4 and Wise. Bastion from Supergiant Games is an action RPG with a really unique narration mechanic. It's not just the case of when you get to certain cutscenes that some narration takes place, it's always happening, it's always with you and it reacts to your actions as the player during gameplay and this is what makes the game really stand out. For this episode however, I want to look at a game audio mechanic that really stood out to me the first time I played this game and that was the use for distance based reverb. In a talk at GDC, Supergiant's audio director, Darren Korb, discussed the process of designing a whole level around a piece of music. This level is all about finding a character called Zia, who is heard singing throughout the level, and they wanted to place a song within the world, so to do this, they applied reverb, panning, and attenuation to the music. Darren describes the level as being set up like a spiral, with Zia in the middle, so this causes the song to move around the player as you progress. As an added effect, they set up a mechanic where the further away you are from the source of the song, the more reverberated and quiet the song is. And then as you move closer to the source of the song and Zia, it becomes louder and less reverb is applied. Let's just quickly check this out working in the game. Well, no point explaining what happens next. Right. Suffice it to say, kid ain't coming home empty handed. And besides, it's like the song goes. Someday your bird is gonna fly. Come build that wall. Till it's done Come build that wall Until it's done They'll be here before too long To achieve this kind of effect, I would use something called an RTPC in WISE combined with a blueprint in Unreal Engine 4. An RTPC, which stands for Real Time Parameter Control, allows you to manipulate audio in various different ways in real time, essentially based on a numeric figure that's linked to gameplay actions. The RTPC for this audio mechanic's work would be placed on the wet level of the reverb, and this would be driven by a blueprint calculating the distance between the player character and the music source. To calculate this distance between the player and the music, we could use something called a line trace. A line trace, which is sometimes also known as a raycast, shoots out an invisible line from a game object, and if geometry is hit, you have a number of things that you can then do with that information. So in this case, we want to send a line trace from the player character to the music object and calculate the distance between the two points, and then feed whatever that number is into Wise and control the RTPC with that number. So let's put this together. The first thing we want to do is place the music into the Unreal Engine 4 level. I've created an event in Wise that contains the music track and then set up a volume attenuation so that the track can be heard as soon as the player is in the right location and then it gradually gets louder as the player approaches the source of the music. Dig my hole, you build a wall. 
I've also set up a stereo spread so that the music event will pan around the player in the 3D space of the level, allowing the player to figure out the music's location, and then when the player is close enough, the song will then spread to stereo so it stops panning, and this helps to reinforce that the source of the music has been found. The next thing we want to do is make our line trace blueprint to drive the reverb RTPC. First thing we need to do is set up a reference for the player character and the music object. We then need to plug that into a get actor location node and connect this to a line trace node. So the player character will go into the start and the music will go into the end of the line trace. This is basically asking the blueprint to tell us where in the level the two objects are. After this is done, I want to set up a new float and then call it reverb. The reverb float will hold the number that represents the distance between the two objects and then help feed that into Wise. First though, I'm going to ask this blueprint to print the string of information that it's generating in order to check that it's actually working properly. Now I'm looking for a number between 0 and 100 to work with, so I'm just going to add some simple math to the blueprint, dividing the number by 100, which will give us something better to work with. Now I'm going to add an RTPC node in order to feed this information into WISE and this will allow the blueprint to drive the reverb level. I've named the RTPC in WISE reverb level so I'm going to add this name to the RTPC node in the blueprint. This is so Unreal Engine 4 and WISE know which RTPC we want to talk to and control. So I've set up an RTPC and added this to the reverb effect that I've applied onto the song. So if we go to the effects tab then click edit we can control various parameters of the reverb. As you can see, I've set up automation for the wet and dry signal. So when the RTPC is at 100, the reverb is dominant, and as the number gets closer to zero, the reverb signal gets weaker, leaving only the dry signal behind. So let's just take a listen to that working. So this is what the line trace blueprint coming from Unreal Engine 4 is essentially going to drive. So instead of me manually moving the slider around, the blueprint's generated number will be moving the slider instead. So what we've just done is create an event in Wise which holds the music track we want to use. We've then set up a stereo spread and volume attenuation to help guide the player to its location. Next we set up a blueprint to calculate the distance between the player and the Wise music event and then feed that information into Wise via an RTPC. We then set up the reverb effect and the reverb RTPC to adjust the reverb level on a 0 to 100 base scale. So now, let's take a look at that all working in the game. Dig my hole, you build a wall. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you have any comments, leave them in the comment section below and I'll see you in the next one.